Hey everyone, I'm John Brown. I play guitar for Flux Conduct and Monument. I am here at Mayanez Guitars HQ in Dansk in Poland, and I'd like to introduce to you my two new babies. So this is the new Devel Q series guitar. So we took what we learned from the Katsi model and we've made things a little bit simpler, but simpler doesn't mean that it's not as good. Simpler just means that we wanted to take basically the original idea that we had for this guitar. So let's start with the bodywood. So, you know, we decided on a two-piece American Ash body. I'm a huge fan of Ash. Uh, I think it has the best tonal characteristics of any wood for an electric guitar. So we've done that, made things simple and not had a top on it. We've taken the Wenge neck, but we've added the maple strips into it. So it's a five piece Wenge and maple neck with Wenge being the dominant wood. And basically the maple was added in here to add the extra snap that we're now missing from the top on the guitar. We've also done a matching headstock to the body as well. So we've got the ash as well as a really cool addition with the wooden Mayanez logo on the headstock. Um, we stuck with Ebony for the fretboard. I really, really like how Ebony feels, how it reacts when I'm on tour. Um, and it also adds a little bit of snap to the guitar as well, so I'm a big fan of Ebony. So let's talk about the color. So this one is named Winter Heather, and the green one next to me is called Summer Moss. You know, originally I'm not the biggest fan of colors on ash-bodied guitars, but I think we came to a really, really good medium with having a little bit of color and a little bit of natural. So I'm a big fan of this, uh, what we've done with this. So let's go on to the hardware of this guitar. We've, um, I stuck with the Shalahanes bridge, still to me the most comfortable and best sounding bridge there is out there on the market. Um, absolutely love this bridge. Um, so let's go on to the pickup. So we have um, a very, very cool custom set here by Bare Knuckles. So we have the ceramic nail bomb in the bridge and we have the cold sweat in the neck with these two very, very cool custom covers. So um, with the Winter Heather model, the one that I'm holding right here, they have purple lines going all the way down the pickup, which follows the string. Uh, and with the Summer Moss one, we have green lines going down the pickups. Uh, very, very, very cool addition, and Ben Uppel did an awesome job at creating these covers. To go on to the rest of the guitar, we have the, the Hip Shop locking tuners, which haven't failed me once. They're very, very stable, very, very good tuners. We have this very, very cool custom knob, uh, which is also a coil tap switch for the pickups to separate from humbucker to single coil mode. Um, and then the Ash custom knob with the Monument's silver logo, which was finished in the same color as whichever guitar it is, whether it's the Winter Heather or the Summer Moss. The fret wire 
on the fretboard is stainless steel, and I believe it's jumbo, which is exactly the same spec as the, uh, the original Katzen model. There's an extra addition to the body shape with the Devel Q as well, which I believe is being added onto all existing models of the Devel as well, which is uh, the addition of a further enhanced arm contour on the front, which makes it much more comfortable to play, which I'm all about, you know? It's all about comfort as well, and it looks great. So the guitar is available as a six string and a seven string and a seven string baritone as well in either of the two colors. And the one I'm holding here is a seven string baritone. The one next to me is a seven string standard scale, which is 25.4. And you know what? These guitars sound absolutely fantastic. I know I say that about absolutely everything that Minus creates, but it's true. This guitar is very, very alive. And the first thing that I noticed when I picked it up was just how resonant the body was against my body. Um, and it sounded, you know, it sounded awesome. The attack on it is fantastic. I, I think it's actually, you know, more aggressive than the original Katsy. Uh, I'm not really too sure why, but I think it's probably because the ash is being allowed to resonate by itself without being, um, I guess muted is the wrong word, but muted by the top wood. So it's, you know, it's just more air to breathe with the ash, more open sounding. Yeah, a very, very cool guitar. This is my new signature model, the Devel Q series, which will be available from NAMM 2018. So if you visit the show, go check out the guitars. They sound absolutely stunning. They look absolutely stunning. And thank you to everyone at Miners for making such incredibly good instruments. <laughs>